guys let's get to glamming I'm starting off by washing my face with my simply pure conditioning cleanser because I had used Adapalene the night before it's a very mild cleanser and you can see it barely lathers and just cleans your face beautifully then moving ahead with moisturizer using my Aveeno moisturizer and it's a very lightweight nice moisturizer with petrolatum so it really seals and locks in the moisture and then moving on with lip balm I'm using the dot and key vitamin C lip balm which by the way I completely forgot to include in my skincare capsule collection and of course we can't skip sunscreen screen actually you can if you are not really using actives and if you're just living in a cave which none of us are basically if you have any amount of sunlight coming in through your window it's better to have sunscreen even if you are indoors so yeah I am applying a good layer of sunscreen this is the SPF 41 from La Shield now let's move on to makeup I am first finishing off my eyebrows using the pack palette um, using the darker shade for the tail and the lighter shade for the first half of my eyebrow after which I am going to set it in place with the help of the gel that also comes in the palette I'm again using the darker shade of the gel and you will see here how beautiful my eyebrow is going to look like now this was uh, my makeup inspiration it was like a very monochromatic brown smoky eye with brown lip um, so yeah that's what we are going to achieve today I'm starting off with concealer I'm using the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer it is extremely full coverage and that's why I'm also using it on my spots uh, because that way I'll be using less foundation afterwards and of course prepping my eyes as well with the concealer for the eyeshadow part now moving on to the eye makeup because we were dealing with a lot of darker shades I thought to finish my eye makeup first as a first step of course I'm setting the concealer in place with the help of the lighter shadows in the palette after which I'm going to take that mauve shade and a little bit of a brown shade and use it as my transition color I'm using a big fluffy brush I'm sure you can see how fluffy that is and sometimes I don't like to use it um, for certain looks but I felt like this was since this was like a all over brown monotonous look I think this brush would do the job and it certainly did it just diffuses the color beautifully blends in the color beautifully um, so yeah I'm just taking my time and building up that color on my crease Now for the base I'm using the sugar kajal this is the brown color again this was a part of my capsule collection video and initially I thought of swatching it on the back of my hand picking it up on a flat brush and then applying on my eyes because I did not want strokes of the kajal because if it did not blend then it would look harsh but as you can see in this clip here it barely transferred on my eye so I had to do what I did not want to do which was just place it buff it and blend it um, but it did the job it just gave me a little bit of a color it gave me a little bit of color before I used the actual brown shade from the palette so those are the two shades I'm using one is more cool toned one has more of a warmth to it so I'm just mixing the two on a flat top brush and again taking my time to build the color on my lids you can go as ham as you want, as um, light handed as you want. I definitely wanted to make a statement with this look and that's why I chose to really build up the color. Then with my NYX Love Lust something <laughs> disco epic ink liner, I'm doing a very defined but subtle wing. I'm just taking a look at the picture for reference and I am also going to smudge the liner out with the help of a pencil brush because this liner gives you more of a well I wouldn't say glossy but it does give you a satin finish I sometimes don't like that with my matte eye looks so I like to smudge the liner and honestly I like that look a little bit more than just using like a proper liner if that makes sense so I'm just doing that here smudging it out but of course if you have a matte eyeliner you don't have to do this step now moving on to one of my favorite products 
off late it's the Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara I'm just generously applying it on my eyes and you can see the difference here look at that look at the lift this mascara gives I am in love with this mascara I cannot recommend this enough if you're looking for a new one this is this is beautiful you have to try it look at that wow now of course you can skip false lashes but I had to do a little false eyelash moment because this like I said I wanted to make a statement with this look now with foundation using the flower beauty foundation which was again a part of the capsule collection video I used very little of it because like I said the concealer pretty much did the job in covering up the mark so I'm using very little to cover or more so just even out my skin tone also do you guys like when you watch people just blending their foundation or do you just skip that or fast forward it i am curious i generally just tend to watch it all the way through i never skip it it is somehow satisfying uh, okay so moving on to concealer i'm using a mixture of two i'm using the full wear concealer by l'oreal first just to you know provide coverage underneath my eyes and then i also use the pack day cover concealer to highlight my face so basically on my nose and on the center of my forehead and also on my chin now it is time for one of my favorite products it's the Huda Beauty Tantor I'm sure you guys already know my love for this and you see it in action here so what I like to do is first use a brush use it or more so apply it on the areas where I want structure and then once I'm happy with the placement of the contour or tantor in this case I then go ahead with a sponge and blend it all out and you will see in just a matter of seconds how beautifully that blends out and the the structure just just the definition it gives is now for highlighter I'm using a mixture of the two highlighter that again was a part of the capsule collection Miss Strobe, Miss Strobe, Miss Claire Strobing Highlighter and Becca's Champagne Pop and I think the, I, 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 I don't understand why I've never mixed two highlighters before if you have not done that you definitely should look at that glow look at that oh my god I was blown away so yeah I'm just highlighting every areas that you generally highlight And just setting everything in place with the help of my Faces Canada setting powder. Again, absolutely love this. You can see it in action here. Can you see like how beautiful it looks even after setting? It does not give you that like cakey look at all. And it just gives you a very flawless airbrush finish. Now let's move on to the lips. I'm using a lip liner because this was a very bold lip color. You can totally skip it if you're a pro. But I definitely wanted some sort of definition before I actually used the lip color so this is the Maybelline lip liner in the shade toffee if I believe if I'm wrong of course link and everything the name will be in the description box below and then using the K Beauty lip crayon in the shade rumor again I'm guessing is the name um, initially I thought to just keep the lip liner as the main lip color but I felt like that looked way too dark so I'm just lightening it up with the help of this lip color from K Beauty and just finishing up the eyes using the same brown kajal smudging it out and I think with that we are pretty much done with the makeup okay I'm not good at doing my hair you guys so this is probably not going to look nice but I still want to you know do something about it I'm gonna use some heat protectant and in the picture she actually has like super pin straight hair I'm not feeling pin straight hair today so I'm gonna actually give it a little bit of a curl so I'm using the Allen True Invented plates so it kind of makes a crickling noise and that's when you know that it is ready to be used. So there we have it. Ignore the dirty mirror you guys but I did a very horrible job at curling my hair but something is better than nothing. Now I'm just thinking what should I wear with this look I think a white shirt and um, like a heel moment will look really nice with it right now I'm just like in my shorts but I'm gonna change and 
I'm gonna give you like a few outfit ideas with this look. Now for the first outfit, I paired a white oversized shirt with black paperback jeans and black heels. And this is how it turned out. I quite liked it. Now I also paired it up with a pair of black and white just floral design earring. This is from ages ago. I don't remember where this is from. I think this is from Dressberry. I definitely remember buying it from Mintra when I was in college. So um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I can't decide which one is my favorite. I definitely like it, like this look with the next outfit as well. And the next outfit is a very casual one. This is a black t-shirt paired with mom jeans and just white sneakers. I also changed my hairstyle here just for a little bit of variation. So did a half up, half down thingy that you call. And yeah, actually you can pair this look with just about anything. You can actually change the lip color of course if it's too much. But I think this just was such a statement look and I definitely loved creating this whole look and just putting everything together and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel click on the bell notification right next to it also let me know which of the two outfits would you prefer and why and that's all i'll see you in my next video